National Opera Company management VIPs expressed disappointment with Francesca's vocal problem during the trap premiere and praise Elena for saving the day. Francesca tries to tell everyone that there was something in the stove that choked her, but while they are sympathetic, they pass it off as youthful performance tension. In addition, she tells Larry how upset she is with the Elena Tai incident and retires to her dressing room. Larry, who is now equally upset, tells Elena what he thinks of her hurtful action. Elena, who doesn't handle rejection well, retires to her dressing room. They sing Why Should I Dream, first Francesca and then Elena and Francesca. When things turn out not to be the way they seem, forget about reality and dream. But why should I dream? What good does dreaming do me? Dreaming won't make you come to me. Why should I dream? And why dream of you? Why let my heart start to yearn so? You never dream in return, so why should I dream? For dreaming will make you much dearer to me, but dreaming won't bring your touch nearer to me. Each day it becomes so much clearer to me that I haven't a chance in this one-way romance. Why should I dream? Why should I dream of just you, dear? Maybe you'd change if you knew, dear, knew that I do. Dream only of you. Still in their rooms, Elena now states her feelings, and Francesca continues with hers. Why should I dream? Why should I dream? What earthly good would it do me? What does dreaming? Dreaming won't make him come to me. So why should I dream? Dreaming won't make him come to me. And why dream alone? Why dream? Why let my heart start to yearn so? Why let my heart start to yearn he so? He never dreams in return, so why should I dream? He never dreams in return, for dreaming will make him dearer to me. Yet each night I dream, how clearly I see that those phantom caresses, that midnight laughter, disappears the morning after there goes my dream there goes my heart hardly the way I had planned hardly the way I had planned guess I should just understand it takes at least two it takes only two to make dreams come At this point, King of the Clack, Raul Montoya, insinuates himself into Francesca's dressing room. He tells her he is going to help her for three reasons. Number one, he likes her and hopes to have her business in the future. Number two, he knows about Elena putting ammonia in the stove, which he considers cheating at a level that is even beneath his own shady rules of conduct. And number three, Elena owes him for several ovations and has not yet paid up. In Francesca's social life, he suggests that she plays it cool for the moment if she wants to end up with Larry Barton. And the ammonia incident? Leave that in his capable hands, and he slips away. <laughs> 